So today is going to be a little bit different. I decided to film a like haul of things that I've gotten in the past month or so and I haven't been filming like collective haul clips because I just didn't feel like it and also haven't really had time. I've seen other YouTubers do it like this, um, other K-pop collectors, and they basically just haul everything they got in that past month or whatever. And so I'm gonna do that and hopefully it turns out okay. So yeah, let's get started. First, we're gonna start with kind of like random things. It's related to K-pop, but also it's kind of not K-pop, so. <laughs> First, we have this little bear. So I bought this little Hitchum bear um, quite a while ago, but it just got produced and sent to me, which is great. It's really cute. I hang it on my purse. It also came with this like replica Resonance Part 2 departure ID. And that's the back. That is one kind of random thing that I've gotten. <laughs> Next random thing, I'm going to try and show this the best I can. So I got the Slow Acid merch, or um, I don't think you would call it merch, but NCT127 collabed with Slow Acid and they launched um, this collection with them. I don't I don't really know the details, but this was Hitch and Sweater and so I got this gray one. I also got a blue one, like in this, it's the same design. You had to buy two of the same thing to get both of the photo cards. So yeah, I honestly, before I knew these came with photo cards, I did want to get one. And then I saw the price and I was like, maybe not. <laughs> and then I saw that it came with photo cards and I was like, maybe so. <laughs> And so I just decided to, um, I decided to get it and I'm really happy that I did. They're really nice quality. Um, I did get a medium and they are very big. Like, I don't know. It's, it's very big, <laughs> but I still can wear it and it look okay. Um, and I have worn both of them, not outside because I live in Texas and I would literally die of a heat stroke, but... <laughs> I've worn them like around my house and stuff so there's those and anyway these are the photo cards that they came with here is the concept card I love the back of it and then the selfie card in the back they're really cute and I, yeah, I'm excited that I got them. So this order I actually joined a group order for because like shipping from Slow Acid like Korea to me, the EMS was like just as much as the sweatshirts. So yeah, no, no thank you. So I joined a group order and I saved a little bit of money, not much, <laughs> but this next order I actually ordered it myself. So they actually like launched another line or whatever. I don't really know the like terms of it, but this was Hitch on shirt. Um, I got the, I, I believe there was only black, but I don't know. There might've been other colors, but I got the black one. I like black t-shirts. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I got these yesterday, this one, and then I got another one. Um, and I already worn this black one <laughs> because yeah, it's, I really like it. And um, this one is also a medium. It's also very big. Okay, and then the last slow acid shirt that I got was this just plain white t-shirt. They're both t-shirts, if I didn't say that. But this one's also a medium, but this one just has like a little bear, like their little bear logo. And I thought it was really cute and simple. And I don't have enough white t-shirts, so I thought, why not? Um, also, this is the tag, because I haven't actually worn this one. I didn't take it off, but uh, all of them came with this really nice tag, <laughs> and it's really cute, their little bear logo. Yeah, so I bought these on my own, and they got shipped to me, 
um, directly from Korea. So this is what the photo cards came in. They just came in this little pack. So with this drop, they made it where you could buy um, any member's t-shirt. And then they also had like um, other t-shirts that weren't worn by the members. So this was one of them. I don't think any of the members wore this one. I could be wrong, but I don't remember any of them wearing this one. But I just wanted a simple white t-shirt, so that's why I got this one. And they let me choose um, Hechen for both t-shirts. And so I got both of his cards. It's very, very, very similar, the, the selfie card. Like, it's the same same day same set of selfies <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate but uh still really cute and i don't regret it so <laughs> and i haven't sleeved these yet because i just got them in the mail yesterday but the backs are so nice they're so pretty yay okay and yeah they just came in this thing um and the t-shirts were in a box, so yeah, it, I didn't really mind that they weren't in like any type of bubble wrap or anything, which is fine. But yeah, that was kind of like my miscellaneous things that I've gotten in this past month. If you don't keep up with um, 127, they actually release a third, like third launch or whatever um, of t-shirts that they designed themselves. And I did join a group order for that. Mainly because I was kind of confused as to how to get all four photo cards. So yes, this next release has four photo cards. I'm excited to get like the t-shirt that Hechan designed. Um, I think that's really cool. And so tech, what I had to do to get all four photo cards, and I find this really unfortunate, was uh, buy three of the same shirt but in different colors I don't know why they made it that way because this one was like this uh this drop was like so cool because I could get two different shirts and still get both of Hedgen's photo cards but they didn't do that for this third release and I'm like why <laughs> but yeah so you had to buy all three um t-shirts in all of the colors to get all three of the photo cards and then that would give you the bonus fourth card if you bought all three. So yeah, I did that. I'm excited for it. I'm kind of crazy, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, and now on to the albums section. So lately I've been really enjoying buying albums from just random groups. Um, of course I like actually listen to the music, but um, I've been, I actually got a Spotify subscription like three months ago. Anyway, and so I've been listening to a lot of different groups and different albums, and so I've been buying a bunch of albums, which is a good thing, but also Spotify is taking my money for the subscription for me listening to more groups so I can buy more albums. Oh gosh. It's not really a good thing, but it's also, I like listening to a bunch of different music. Um, it's nice to discover, you know, new music and stuff. I'm gonna try and go in the order of release, so from oldest to newest. This is off of like my memory, so if it's wrong, I'm sorry, but also not sorry. So the first album I got is The Boys Stealer, and I'm not gonna lie, I really love the boys. I loved the boys when they debuted, um, and I kind of want to, like, start getting into them more and listening to more of their music. I started with The Stealer, which I think is, is it their latest? But I just decided to start with The Stealer, because I really love this, um, title track. And since I have a Spotify, I really haven't been listening to my CDs very much. And so, a lot of these are going to have the CDs in them, but don't worry, I did listen to them. They're, it's just on Spotify. <laughs> I really love this album. Um, the packaging is very questionable, though. <laughs> like, I don't like the, fo like the photo book that it just comes out. I don't really like that. But I got, um, I 
don't know how to say his name. I don't want to butcher it, but I, he's my bias. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to say your name, but you're my bias, which is kind of sad, but you know, oh well. <laughs> And, okay, so I did, um, I got this album a very long time ago, and I sold the postcard that I pulled, and I pulled, um, Sunwoo. Is that how you say his name? Sunwoo? Sunwoo? I don't know. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. I pulled Jacob, which I love Jacob. He's adorable. The back. And then, oh my gosh, Youngoon. If I say anyone's name wrong, please just, like, kindly correct me <laughs> in the comments. I'm not going to even attempt to say his name because, like, I really butcher it. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, can someone explain, um, like, an easy, simple way to say it because I, I do not know. Okay. Trying to get to the other photo cards. I really love this version of this album too. I watched um, an unboxing of this album before I bought it so I could get the version that I liked and I just love the pink and black. I think it's really simple but also just like really nice. Where are the other photo cards? Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. Okay. And then I pulled Eric, which Eric is like one of my biases. He is adorable. Um, I did decide to keep this photo card. The other three I am going to sell. But yeah, I decided to keep this Eric. And then I pulled a Kevin Lenticular. So I do know all their names. I just really suck at pronouncing them. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Steeler. Or this is called Chase, like the album name is Chase. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this album. Really happy to have it in my collection. And yeah, let's move on. I don't want to talk too much, but also like I want to express my feelings. Okay, the next album that I am going to show is another group that I've never shown on my channel before, but I really love them. I've been listening to their music so much lately, and this is the first album of theirs that I listened to, so I decided to get it. And it's CIX. So, what's really funny about CIX... Oh my gosh. We're gonna take a pause because the trash people are here. Okay, so I forgot what I was saying, but... Oh, what's funny about CIX is that I loved their debut. And I really wanted to keep up with them after their debut. But, uh, when did CIX debut? Because I, I feel like that's what happened was I was trying to look for new groups to get into other than BTS because that was the first group I ever um, liked, I guess. Anyway, and um, yeah, so I found CIX and their debut, but then I think I got into other groups more and yeah, I don't, I really don't know what happened and I'm kind of sad that I didn't keep up with them. Um, this also... Uh, CIX includes two members from, um, what was the show called? I don't know. The show that, the survival show that created Treasure, um, BX and Sungmoon, I think that's how you say it. They were, uh, on that show and I didn't even know that and I didn't even realize until I started to check them out again this year. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> I think it's funny that they they debuted before Treasure. And I honestly... And um, this is kind of revealing something that I haven't really talked about much on my channel. But Treasure... I honestly regret collecting them so much. And I guess regret is kind of a strong word. I'm more just like... I think in the moment I was just like really excited about a new group and I was also just getting into photo card collecting and I was like 
I can start from the beginning and I can have all their photo cards and it'll be just so nice and easy to collect them because I'm starting from the beginning. But yeah, that wasn't a good enough reason to collect them. And I also don't even know if I'll buy like their comeback that's coming soon. Um, I mean, if I like it, I might, but I'm not sure, honestly. I think I might even get rid of all of the photo cards that I have. Anyway, besides treasure, let's not talk about that. Uh, cause that was just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But this album is really good. Every song on this album. Where's, is there a track list? Here's the track list. Yeah. I really love all of the songs on this album. Can you focus? There we go. Yeah. Cinema is the title and then the rest of the songs, Chef's Kiss. I really love round two. Yeah. And yeah, the rest of them are good too. So this album comes with these really cute Polaroids of all the members. I think these are so adorable. Like I wish the NCT um, Hello Future Polaroids were like this tiny and cute. I think it would be <laughs> so fun to collect them. I mean, I'm still collecting the NCT Dream ones as well, but <laughs> I just like how tiny these are. They're like so cute. And I also love that it has their names on the back because I pulled this card and I was like, I do not know who you are, but you are adorable. <laughs> but yeah. It is, um, oh my gosh. It is Bae Jin Young. Bae Jin Young, yeah. I don't know why I put it down, but yeah, there you go. I think we've seen all of them, yes, okay. But they're just really cute. I really like these Polaroids. They're so cute and tiny. And I think I'm just going to keep them in my album. And I'm also going to keep this photo card because it is really cute. And this is really cute too. It has like a a frame for your photo card. I think that's so cool. But yeah, I'll probably just leave that in here. And then the film film strip, which you cannot see very well, <laughs> but it's really cute. And then this little like print. I don't really know what this is. But it's really cute and nice. And I think they do these in all of their albums, if I am correct. And then the stickers, really nice. And then a poster. So yeah, you get a lot in this album. And I was it was really fun to open when I did open it. Where did I put the photo card? Okay, it's in there. But yeah, I love this album and I really love CIX. I'm very excited when they come back whenever that will be because I might you know clown <laughs> and buy it but yeah that is CAX I don't know I don't know if I'm going in order but next we have Rosé's album or not really album it was like a single because it only has two songs on it but I love both songs like a lot a lot a lot like a lot and I wish this is, I, I'm not a solo stan, like, I don't just stan Rosé, I just really love these songs a lot, and I wish she would, like, come out with more solo music. Um, does that mean I'm a solo stan? I don't really know, but I just really loved these two songs, and I kind of wish she would be coming out with more soon, you know? like a normal solo artist, but that's fine that she's not, and I support what she's doing in Blackpink, like that's, that's where she started, so, you know, but I did, um, already sell one of the photo cards that I got, it was her, like, knees photo card, and I was just like, I don't need this, but this is the other one that I pulled, and I am going to keep this one. I don't know if everything is in focus, so I hope um, so far it has been. But yeah, there's the photo card. And then it comes with these postcards. 
which are really nice, but I'm just going to keep them in the album, um, even though she looks really good. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a bunch of stickers, and I'm not going to go through those, but yeah. I also just really loved, like, the, um, photo book. I love, like, all these pictures and concepts and stuff. Um, I know they're from, like, the music video, but she just looks amazing. She is so stunning, and, yeah. I wish she would come out with more music, but <laughs> it's okay that she's not, I guess. I just really love both of these songs, and so I wanted to buy this uh, little single album. And so that is Rosé. Okay, so next is um, my NCT 127 Love Holic fan club versions. So I got this, like, um, these were in here in this plastic, but I just took them out because these are going to go in my binder, and then this was, like, not. It didn't look good in here. So we can do a little flip through of this because this little photo book is so cute. But yeah, I joined a group order for this fan club version and this was like my favorite concept from Love Holic. So I really, really wanted this like little uh, photo book and they all look so nice. I, um, in this one, I actually pulled tail, so the group order that I joined, they only sorted the other version that I got, which is the standee version, and that one I did get Hyechan in, but this one was random, and I got tail. I already sold his photo card, but, yeah, I wanted this photo book. It's really cute. They look adorable. Alright. So, yeah, that's the little photo book. And then it came with the jewel case CD. And then the stickers. And the photo card that I already sold. The other one that I was talking about was the standee version. So I got Hechan standee. And it just came with the standee and then a regular jewel case. I'm not going to really take anything out, but there's that. And I did get Hechan's photo card with it, so that was really nice. And I also received the, um, what, what store was this from? I don't remember, but it was one of the pre-order benefits. And I got the group and the Hechan one. The Hedgehog one I already sold because I already have one. I don't really know how to explain it, but I already have one, so I sold the duplicate. <laughs> and yeah, that was it for Love Holic. The standee is really cute. Can you focus? Is it focusing? I don't really know. It's cute. Next album type thing I got was the wavy kickback kinos so I don't collect kinos for Hendry and Xiaojun but I did decide to go ahead and get one of each version and then collect one of each of their cards I don't think I'm gonna like actually open it because if you want to see unboxing for a kino um, go look it up <laughs> I guess it's not that interesting to me so I'm not gonna open it I did pull Kuhn's card, and I just need to trade him for Xiaojun. Unfortunately, this card did come damaged. I don't know if you can really see it. It has some damage on the corner right there. It was in the Kino like this, and so the like box was on the corner. So I hope I can find a trade. With someone, um, I tried to flatten it out, like I put it between books and I let it sit there 
until this video, so, um, and I've had these for quite a while, for probably a month now, so it's kind of sad, but oh well. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, I think it is what it is. <laughs> And then for the, uh, I think this is the Hitchhiker and this is the Stranger. For the Stranger version, I actually did pull Hendry. So like I said, Kuhn is up for trade for Shaljun. This Hendry card is so cute. I love the pearls. So, and his pink hair is just so cute. So that is Kickback. Okay, and next is kind of just an impulse purchase at Target and I haven't even listened to the album yet so why did I buy it I don't know but it's 17's your choice um this is the other side version I I just picked up a random one I really didn't care what version um like I said I really haven't listened to this album even yet so why did I buy it? Because I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, Ready to Love is really great, but I just haven't, I haven't listened to the B-sides yet. And I'm not gonna unfold that poster. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I got this at Target. Um, here's this, the little bookmark they call it, but it's like a clear card thing. And then the sticker. This lighting is really bad. But I unfortunately got one that doesn't have Hoshi in it, and Hoshi is my bias. Um, yeah, I was kind of sad about that. <laughs> I really hate that they do this um, for their photo books. Seventeen has done this before, and I really hate it, honestly, like, a lot. Because when I buy an album, I want the whole group to be in the photo book, not just half the members not just three members I really don't like it so <laughs> um that's just my opinion I don't think very many people do like it but you know whatever um I pulled Dino's photo card he is um probably like my third bias I think my second bias is Wanu but I yeah I used to be into 17 in like 2017 when I first got into k-pop I was kind of obsessed with them, um, but now I'm not really into them as much. And then I pulled Mingyao for the 8. And Vernon and Wanu. And then this is, I think this is one of the Target exclusive postcards I don't really know but this group postcard and then this was another target exclusive so I got the um, performance unit and I have a Hoshi inclusion kind of now <laughs> yeah I'm thinking about trading that Dino for Hoshi if possible but um, if not then I'll probably just sell it and yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, Wanu. He looks so good. Anyway. Yeah, why did I buy this album? Haven't even listened to it. I kind of suck, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Just my stack of albums over here. And finally, which this is a group that I do collect all of their albums, it's uh, Ace. And yeah, I was really excited to get these. I ordered from Makestar, so I also got them kind of late, and that was another reason I didn't really want to do an unboxing. And yes, I do want to say that Higher is definitely like one of one of the title tracks that I I. I don't favor it, let's just say that. Um, I don't know, I just really like their um, hype sound that they have with most of their other title tracks, and Higher was kind of more relaxed for them, but it's not bad, it's just not, it's different. It's not bad, it's just different, and yeah, not what I was expecting. <laughs> 
but I really love the concepts for this album. I think this is the sun, moon, and eclipse version, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so let's just go through each one pretty quickly, because I know this video is probably really long. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna go through the photo book a little bit and my pulls. I think I put my Make Star cards in one of the albums, but I don't remember which version I put it in, but Ace never disappoints with their beautiful concepts. They did like this water concept again. Not really again, I mean it's different, but they did like water concept. <laughs> In their last uh, mini, they did like the underwater, and it was just, it was beautiful. So they did it again. <laughs> they did a beautiful water concept again, and they look amazing. And I just, I really love their photo books so much because I don't know, they really like go all out, <laughs> you know? So here are the stickers, and here is my photo card that I pulled. Very pretty doon. And then here's my lenticular. So I did pull Chan. If you didn't know, my bias is Chan. So I will be probably keeping this. I haven't really decided. And then I pulled another chan this is the um front and back photo card or whatever what is it called when they do this like double-sided that's the word i was looking for <laughs> and then for the polaroid i pulled wow really cute but yeah i really enjoyed this album and the concepts are just really beautiful, so here is the next version. This is more of like a darker underwater concept, I think. I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. I don't know. They just, they really go all out for their concepts and stuff um like with all of the makeup and the outfits and it's just very i don't know how to explain it like like a very strong concept i guess is what i'm trying to say it's not just you know like casual it's very strong and out there so for the lenticular in this one i got wow I don't know if you can see this very well. There, there we go. And then I pulled Young Clones. I think this is the double-sided one. Yeah. Young Clon. And then I pulled Wow's photo card. And I pulled another Wow Polaroid. So Wow loved me this comeback. The Make Star cards must be in this one, which this is my, I think this is my favorite version. I really like the water concept in the sun version, I think that's what it's called. But I also just really love these red outfits in this version and the like purple. I just, it looks really nice. <laughs> so I think... Yeah, so this is the version I stuck my Make Star cards in. So I pulled Byungkwan, Chen. I was so excited to pull Chen because he's my bias. And then Wow. Of course I pulled Wow. Yeah. So I think I will be, I will definitely be keeping Chen, but I think I will sell the other two. I just had to get all three versions, so that's why I got three. If, if there was only one version, I would have just bought one and in hopes of pulling Chan. And I pulled the group 
um, double-sided card this time, which it's really cute, and I think I am going to keep it because it's just, look at this, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah. And I liked this, mm, I really like this photo book. It's just very nice. I love all the red and like bluey purple color. And then for the lenticular, I pulled my first June. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. June is definitely my second bias. I freaking love him. He is beautiful. Can you please work like you're supposed to? There we go. Sorry the lighting is kind of terrible. I'm filming on my desk and I don't usually film on my desk because I can't ever figure out good lighting. So yeah, here's the stickers. Did I show the stickers for the other one? I don't remember. And then I pulled another Pyongquan. This is the regular photo card. There is a regular uh, Chan photo card that I want. So I'm going to try and trade for it because I really, really want it. I'll insert a picture of it. <laughs> I really want it. And then I pulled another June. I pulled his Polaroid. And is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. So, that is it for Ace. Um, I also did get posters with all of the versions. And they're really, really nice posters. Um, but I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> mainly because I don't really have room. The last album that I got, and this is the most recent, and also I got it in Target, so that's a hint, but it's BTS's Butter. So I have a thing with BTS in that I buy one version for every release um, because I respect them. <laughs> I, um, I don't know. I just... BTS is kind of a group for me that they got me into K-pop and I really respect what they do and I appreciate, you know, the, the fact that they got me into K-pop. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Weird, but uh, yeah, I buy one version for every release. Um, not like Japanese releases, but this was their English uh, single album. I will say I really love Butter. Not the biggest fan of Permission to Dance. But Butter is really great. Like, I love Butter out of all of their um, English releases. This album also comes with, like, a lot of goodies, which is kind of, I feel like it's rare for BTS. <laughs> but you have these really cute stickers. And then the, like, lyric postcards. Like I said, Butter is my favorite song on this little single album and then this little polaroid that comes in all of the albums and then i got j-hope's little message card i love his blonde hair so much he looks so good with his blonde hair he looks really nice and then the little standy, standy thing. And a giant poster that I will not unfold. Sorry. <laughs> and then I put the photo card in here. Which I do prefer the um, Peaches photo book better, but I liked the color of this one better. So... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I also kind of wanted to pull V's photo card, but instead I pulled Jin. So if you didn't know, V is my bias, and I love I love all of the members, but I pulled Jin, which is totally fine because I don't collect them. And this photo card is really adorable, like so cute, so cute, <laughs> and yeah. So that is my butter album.
So that was the last of the albums. Now I'm going to just show you a couple things that I've bought and also traded for um, recently. So we'll start with my biggest item and then just go to the photo cards. So I actually bought this recently. This is Wood's AR photo set from KCON, like their um, like virtual. I, I don't really know how this worked, but I think this is from last year. I'm not really sure, but I really um, liked these photos, so I decided to get it. They're really cute. He looks really adorable. I love this like yellow uh, sweater vest. And I don't regret buying them. <laughs> They're really cute. And then this one is so nice. I think... No, this is it. Okay. And then the back is just plain. So yeah, I got these recently, kind of an impulse purchase, but also I really wanted them, so I'm glad that I got them. And then the next two are also purchases. So I recently decided to fully collect Tail, Doyoung, and Yuta for 127, so I just had to get this other version, and I saw it on Mercari USA for a really good price, so I bought it. And then, oh, that's also where I got um, these was Macari USA. And then I also got lucky and found this photo card on Macari USA for a great price. Um, very happy to have it. So it will complete my, um, first and last collection for Dream. And then we get into some hot sauce trades. So I'm pretty sure I did cross trade for some of these photo cards. Like it's not just like direct um, hot sauce card for hot sauce card, but I don't know what cards I traded, but I got Jisung's crazy version recently. He looks really cute. And then I got Chunla's crazy version. So my crazy set is actually complete. And then these are my two Hechan photo cards that were coming from worldwide. I don't remember where. I think one of them came from Hong Kong and the other one came from Singapore? Yeah, far away. <laughs> but they did arrive safely, so I'm very happy about that. Here is Hechan's boring. I think this is his boring version. And then this is his chilling version. Beautiful. Yeah. And then I also traded for his jewel case photo card. So I did already have this and I already have these two as well, but these are for my uh, dream collection. So yeah, I double collect Hedgehun if you did not know that. I collect him for my Hedgehog binder and then I collect him for my NCT binder. So, And then these are some more photo cards that I traded for. I cross traded um, for these Neozone Tail and Yuta cards. I don't remember what I traded, but yeah, I did. And I'm excited to have them. I also recently bought a bunch of their photo cards on Macari Japan and I'm excited to get them in because I think I only need like one or two more cards to complete that collection now so that's exciting okay i think i'll end this video here um here's the stack of albums i'm not gonna lay any of them out but yeah and most of the photo cards that i got uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's a little different than what i normally do but it was kind of fun to like look at everything that i've gotten in the past month or so i think it's been a little over a month actually but whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and look out for more videos. Bye bye.